In the warm and fuzzy world of some folks, wild animals all have big moist brown eyes, cute noses, and a cuddly personality. But that doesn't exactly square with reality. Take for example the incident involving Mark Reynolds, a 35-year-old guy who went out for a mountain bike ride in California in January 2004, was later found dead and partially eaten by a cougar. Nothing warm and fuzzy about it. So take some combat tips course or guide before getting into wildlife. I could go on and on, the list is pretty long, and that's just cougars. What about bears or wolves? Or a snake or lion? Or let's pause momentarily for a dose of wildlife reality. There are lots of wild animals that will attack a human, sometimes with fatal results. For instance, sharks cause just six deaths a year. Their infamous reputation is very exaggerated. Wolves are responsible for 10 deaths annually. Lions kill 22 people a year. Now get ready. Elephants, cute lovely giants are the reason more than 500 people lose their lives every year. Hippopotamuses equal them in this scary competition. Crocodiles turn out to be much more dangerous than sharks, about 1,000 deaths a year. But the champion here is the snake. 100,000 people meet their end at the teeth of this reptile. To prepare you for any situation you can find yourself in, we've gathered 13 ways that will save your life if you have such an unpleasant encounter. The only good thing we can do is learn the truth and then figure out what to do if we are ever in a violent confrontation with a wild animal. 1. If a bear comes into camp, do not run because that will trigger an attack response. Keep all your movements slow and deliberate. Do not approach the animal. Pick up small children so they will not be perceived as prey. Bang pots and pans together or make other loud noises. Wave your arms above your head to make yourself appear larger. Leave an escape route open so the bear won't feel cornered and forced to fight its way out of the situation. Move upwind of the bear so it can identify your scent as human, not its normal prey. 2. If you become the object of a grizzly attack, stop, remain calm, back away slowly while speaking in a calm voice. You're trying to show the bear that you're being submissive and yielding to his territorial supremacy. Do not turn your back on the bear or run. That will stimulate an attack. Avoid direct eye contact because that is considered an act of aggression. A grizzly might bluff charge or not. If it lowers its head and pins its ears back, it's coming. Submit. Lie face down on the ground. Cover your head with your arms and hands and play as dead as possible. You might be bit or clawed and then the bear might leave or not. If the bear continues to maul you in spite of you playing dead, an indication that it wants you for food, you might have to fight for your life using available weapons, knife, stick, rock, fingernails, focusing your counteract on the bear's eyes and nose with as much violence as you can muster. Number 3. If it's a shark. The good news is that out of 150 species of sharks existing on the earth, only 20 attack humans. Most of them just don't perceive you as food. So if not something tasty, what good are you? Now down to the bad news. If a shark gets interested in you, it will be tough to break away. To not attract sharks, prevent blood or urine from getting into the water. Sharks can smell these at a distance of several miles. If you meet face to face, especially, don't try to escape in a panic. Look your predator in the eye. Don't flail like something it might like to eat. Make your way to the shore backward. If you have to fight, go for the gills. These zones are the most sensitive. 4. If you've invaded the reptile's personal space, most snakes are neither dangerous nor poisonous. People get 80% of their bites trying to catch this reptile. If you notice that a snake is following you, stomp your feet, the vibrations will confuse the snake, and it will let you be. If radius of 3 feet, freeze. See if the snake retreats. If it doesn't or can't, then back up slowly. If you've been bitten, don't try to suck the poison out from the wound, as they do in the movies. Better to wash the bite with running water, apply a tourniquet, and call an emergency. Number 5. Lion If you've encountered a lion, maintain eye contact. Don't turn your back and don't move your eyes away. It will give the predator the time to attack. Try to look more massive. To create such an impression, lift your arms and jack it up. If you look big and threatening, the animal will try to avoid the encounter. Speak to the lion in a reasonably loud and confident voice. Make sounds and gesticulate. Such a behavior isn't typical for a victim. This way you will baffle the predator 
so it will perceive you as an irritating presence, which is better to stay away from. 5. Gorillas Gorillas are called the kings of the jungle, not without reason. They are leaders who protect their family and land. They don't attack you if you behave obediently. Sit down to seem less large and do not tower over the gorilla. Try to whisper and avoid direct eye contact. In case of an attack or approach, curl into a ball. Gorillas are proud animals. As a rule, they won't attack the weak and defenseless. 6. If a cougar is encountered, stop and stand tall. Do not run. Try to appear larger than the cougar. Never take your eyes off the animal or turn your back. Do not crouch down or try to hide. If the animal displays aggressive behavior, shout, wave your arms, and throw rocks. If the cougar attacks, stay on your feet. If you go down, you're in trouble. Fight back aggressively with anything you can get your hands on. Knife, club, backpack, rocks, etc. Gouge your fingers into the cat's eyes. Fight for your life with as much violence as you can muster. 7. If you encounter a moose, give it lots of space. Do not approach. Back away and change the direction of your travel. Stay totally clear of a calf and cow. That combination is extremely dangerous. If a moose approaches you, it's not trying to be your friend. It's trying to warn you. If the moose lays its ears back and raises the hair on its shoulder hump, stomps the ground or swings its head in your direction, it's preparing for an attack. Back away. Get as much space between you and the moose as possible. Run. Unlike with a bear or cougar, you can run from a moose without triggering an attack. The moose likely won't chase you very far. Get behind a large tree or other obstacle and keep it between you and the moose. Climb a tree. If the moose knocks you down, curl up into a ball to protect against the kicks and stomps. Don't try to get up until after the moose moves away, or it will renew its attack. 8. If a bison charges. Run for cover if it's close. Bison might look slow, but they're not. Take cover behind something large and keep moving as the bison tries to get at you. Climb a tree. A bison can't come up after you. This animal isn't interested in eating you, it's just annoyed by your proximity. Keep your distance. If you're facing an attack by wolves or coyotes, don't run because that might trigger an attack. You can't outrun these animals, they can hit speeds of over 30 miles per hour. Yell at the animal to make it back off. These animals often run in packs and engage in coordinated attacks. If you're surrounded and you're alone, it's time to start shooting to kill, or you'll end up on the dinner plate. These are carnivores and you are carne. Do not lose your footing. Once you go down, the pack will rush in and rip you apart. If you are surrounded and you're in a group, position yourselves back to back facing the animals. Use clubs, knives, sharpened sticks, spears, rocks, or anything else you can grab to fend off the attack. 10. How to survive an alligator or crocodile attack The jaws of these animals are the strongest on the planet. In this case, breaking free won't be a piece of cake. If you've been grabbed, hit the eyes. The eyes and the throat of these animals are their most sensitive areas. To make the animal let you go, aim at them. If you notice that the predator is crawling toward you on the ground, make as much noise as possible and run in a zigzag. This is exactly the situation when to run and shout is the best solution. If you see a crocodile while swimming, don't create splashes. Don't shout, it will draw unwanted attention. Try to be as quiet as you can and swim away. 11. Jellyfish A jellyfish burn brings a long-lasting nagging ache. Some people believe that peeing on the damaged surface can relieve the pain, but it is just an urban legend. Immediately after being burnt, wash this place with salt water. Pure water will only worsen the situation. After that, using a pair of tweezers or a stick, move the remaining parts of the jellyfish away. If you have antihistamine ointment, apply it to the place of the burn. 12. How to survive a hippopotamus attack These animals seem cute, but this image is very misleading. They can be extremely dangerous. Despite their weight, hippopotamuses can run at a speed of 18.5 miles per hour. They don't have a perfect character as well. Angering them is easy peasy. If the weather is hot, try not to enter the bushes. The level of water lowers during the drought, so hippos hide in the high grass. To make animals leave you alone, climb a tree, rock, or a steep hill. Wait there until it goes away. 13. How to survive a bee attack Bees will protect their hive. They can bite, even if you're just walking by. Dark colors attract bees' attention. That's why if you're dressed in a black t-shirt, your chances of being stung by these insects are much higher. If a hive of bees or just several of them are following you, hide in a dark place. 
The lack of proper lighting will throw the insects off your track. 